All right, now, so we're gonna talk about broken tips. Now, I've broken several tips, as I said in the other video. I've uh, I broke a marbles knife whenever I first started this, because uh, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and uh, some knives are just not made to to pound into hardwood and, and pry with them at the tip. Uh, it's just a fact. You, uh, you can get knives that will do it. Uh, so if that's what you want to do, then I suggest you get a knife that uh, has a fairly bull nose tip and uh, a lower grind. So I'm going to see if I can break this tip off uh, to show you how to fix it. Uh, this tip eventually is going to break because I abuse it. I don't use it properly. Um, I ground the tip a little too fine for what I wanted to use it for. Um, it works great. Everything else, the blade's fine. Uh, this thin steel takes a beating. You can um, baton with it to your heart's content. But the tip is a little bit uh, weak for prying with. So eventually it's going to break. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it and get it over with and uh, fix it here. So, see what happens. There we go. Alright, so that's what a broken tip typically looks like. You can see that that's a pretty good. Uh, break. Now by looking at this, I can tell whether this the heat treat is bad or if the tip was just too thin and it was abused. Um, this one is nice, silky smooth grain on the inside, so I know the heat treat was done correctly and so it wasn't the fault of the heat treating, it was the fault of the user who slammed his knife into some hedge, the very tip like that, Twist it a little bit and it broke. You can see how a little bit of pressure that took. Alright, first thing you're going to need is a file and maybe a, a sharpening stone. You're going to have to sharpen your edge back up. Um, once, the good thing about this is once, and I know you're all thinking that probably, well, there's nothing really good about this. This is uh, a bad thing. <laughs> but the good thing about this is whenever you finally get this tip reprofiled, it's going to be the tip that you should have had before. Right? So, uh, you bought this knife thinking you could pry with it. Well now, after you're done with this, what was going to break off is now broken. You can now reprofile this to a more bull nose, and you're going to have the knife that you should have had. The knife that you should have been doing that with. Understand? So, that's the plus side. So here we go. Okay, what I've got here is just a simple bench vise. Um, you can... Uh, you know, improvise something at your house or whatever if you want, or just go buy a cheap pony for, you know, 20 bucks and uh, mount it on your table and you'll be uh, golden. So it doesn't take uh, a lot of tools, even if you don't have tools already. If you want to mount this up, always be aware of the edge. Put some leather on it to uh, protect the blade. Take your file and start rounding the tip of, or the, the uh, spine of the knife down towards the edge. So, and I, when I say rounding, that's what I mean. And if you had a grinder, you know, a knife grinder, you could make this look a little more natural, tip it out, and then reprofile the edge. But all you got is a file and a sharpening stone. So remember, uh, you're not going to want to do a lot of flatting to this edge, the knife edge itself, because you're going to have to do a lot of filing then to resharpen it to get that edge back. So basically, you're bringing this tip down uh, the spine down to the edge. So here we go, just take some nice, kind of 45 degree angle or whatever angle that is, and start now. Now it's going to be hard, because this is hard steel, and the file is, is hard, but the file should be a little bit harder. Now as far as what kind of file this is, this is a single cut file, it's a little too fine probably for this one. Um, let me see if I can get a double cut file here. See if that uh, cuts a little more aggressively. I'm not a machinist, so I don't know the proper file names or proper files to use on certain things. It doesn't matter. File costs you, you know, 10, 12 bucks. Go out, buy a couple, and you'll have them for other things besides broken tips. Machete. Uh, fixing the edge, fixing the edge on your axe, things like that. Now, 
you might say, well, I know it is, but this knife that I broke was a $500, $600 custom. Um, I don't want to take a file to it, and I don't want to alter the pattern like that. Well, two things. One, if the knife was uh, warrantied for that kind of use, then send it back to the maker and he'll fix it. Two is, you shouldn't have been doing that with a knife in the first place that wasn't made for it. If it wasn't made for it, uh, then the maker's probably not going to uh, warrant it anyway, so you kind of got what you got. Uh, it's unfortunate, it's a hard lesson to learn, um, but uh, it is what it is. So you kind of have this choice. Now, if you're a, um, very talented with a file or you want to take a lot longer to do uh, this, then, you know, go for it. Uh, you can do as good or uh, a quick of a job as you want. Um, this was just a quick job to show you uh, how to do it, and I can guarantee this tip's going to be tough. Even though it's not very attractive, it uh, doesn't matter. It's going to work. So, all I did was file the break down to the edge so I didn't have to worry about reprofiling this edge which would be very difficult you could do it of course if you have the time it all boils down to time uh, you could do it with hand tools so you could actually file this edge up then file the tip down up down up down over and over until you get a nice tip uh, two problems with that one is you're going to have to refile, reprofile this edge here because it's going to get flat, right? Because you're going to be filing on it. So you're going to have to make it an edge again. So that's going to take a while. The other problem is it's going to be a <laughs> pointed edge, which is what you had before, which is what you broke. So this now, if you do it this way, is the knife that you should have had to begin with if you're going to be doing what you're doing or something similar to this. So I don't have to reprofile the edge. I still have my edge. Let's see if it'll drill. Alright, here we go. No sweat. Tip's a tip. This is just a better one for what you were doing. Uh, Say that well, I can't now. I can't get in and carve tight corners and stuff like that. Uh, you shouldn't have been using a carving knife to split wood with the tip. <laughs> Just the way it is. Uh, if you got a carving knife, use it for carving. <laughs> if you want a, a splitting knife uh, to use a tip to split, then uh, then that's what you should should get or use. Um, let me get that piece of hedge back up here. Now, there's still a possibility that this could break. Uh, hedge is very... This is a bad technique, what I'm doing anyway, with a knife like this. Um, with a knife um, like this one, has a much blunter, thicker tip. Even though it's a full height grind at the end, uh, the profile of the knife itself is more bull nose. There's less tip to break. So, this, this is a, a knife that you can do, with the, do this with all day long. And it will be fine. Why? Because it's made to do it. <laughs> so you're not going to have to worry about breaking this knife, the tip of this knife. Um, but that technique that I just showed is a, is a, it's really it's a it's a useless technique anyway. Um, if you're going to split something with the tip of your knife, what do I do with that? Uh, if you're going to split something with the tip of your knife. You should split it by driving the knife. Hang on, let me get them out. You should split by driving the knife deeply into the wood, right? So you get more of the blade into it. And then you should walk, walk it along until it splits. You should pick good splitting wood. If I want to do it in the middle, try to split it that way.
way, then I want to drive very, very deep into the piece of wood. And then twist, and if it's not going to go, if it's really hard, pull it back out. Take it out. Make another split down here. Or drive in down here. And just do it until it comes apart without wrecking your fine tip knife. That's it. How to fix your stuff. Uh, how to fix a broken tip and uh, make it the knife that it should have been for you in the first place. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, just ask, and I appreciate you watching.